Okay, so I've uh, done a lot of Googling and I've searched all over the place. And it turns out there is no way to import an MP3 song into GarageBand on the iPad. I don't know why it is. Seems like something pretty simple. Actually, there's a way you can do it, but you just need another app to do it. And uh, we're not going to go get that app. So let's, um, let's take it to another level, kids. Okay, so we're going to just create our own song. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to open up Loops. I'm going to open up Instruments. And I'm going to go into some drum kits here. And let's start listening to some of these here. Well, sorry, let me open up kits. Sorry, that was everything. Um, not real. Okay, that might not be bad in the background. Nice and low, though, so I'm going to take it, gonna drag that in, make another loop out of it there. And let's go get another loop. Let's go get some, uh, let's go get some bass guitar here. Oh, yeah. No, no. Not bad. I don't know if you can hear it. This is a really low, low tone. Ooh, I like that one even better. So I'm going to go Bliss Abyss here. Remember, you're going to do the exact same things I'm going to do. I'm going to start that one maybe. Yeah, I'm going to start maybe a measure later. And then maybe just a, a little bit. You're probably wondering what this all sounds like. At the Met, we should strive to be inquirers. What does that really mean? To me, that we should be. Okay, need a little bit more on it. Just add a little more richness to it. So I'm going to go get some synthesizer. There we go, synthesizers and... Um, Ooh, okay, there we go. So we got Bliss Abyss on the, um, well, looks like we've already kind of got that, though, going on. Hmm. What do we get? Bliss Abyss Synth Bass. We already, oh, we did it with a bass, so we can do that with chords. Yeah, we're okay to layer that on top of there. Okay, so we've got some of those going on. It goes on forever, so let me just zoom out on all this stuff here. I'm just gonna trim everything to the, um, oops, let's close that. Close it. Let's try to get that again. Trim everything to the end of the song here. Okay, so that's what we should have. Let me zoom in so you can see it here. That's what we should have as our, our song. And, Now what we're noticing is you can't hear me talk anymore. So I'm going to open up the drawer right here and let's turn down the volume on all these guys here. At the Met, we should strive to be inquirers. But what does that really mean? To me it means that we should be curious about the things we're taught. We should ask a ton of questions, research our own answers, and when we find answers, we should ask even more questions. We should enjoy the act of learning as we drive our teachers Just working on the balance. so many questions. Well, that's what I think. Okay, that sounds good to me. At the Met, we should strive to be inquirers. But what does that really mean? To me, it means... Okay, I think we have a finished project here. So let me go to my songs. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to... Uh, well, I'll just show you right now. Um, you got to upload it to your Google Drive or email it to somebody. Whatever you need to do, just tap on Select. Tap on your file. And now you have the Share button. See, before it's not there. Notice there's no Share button. So that's why you got to go Select. Tell it which file, then you can tap on share. Now you can do everything from, you know, put it on your Google Drive to email it to somebody to whatever you, you need to do with it. I'm just going to send it over to my MacBook, so I'm going to tap on this right here. You can send it as a project or a song. This means it stays as a GarageBand file. Don't need to do that. I really want it as a song, so I'm going to tell it just to go as a song. And share. There we go. Okay, I can't wait to hear what you guys have done. It's going to be great.